Hi everyone, welcome to Indish Windish. Today we will be making a spicy peri peri salmon with broccoli and potatoes. This is a one sheet pan meal which is really convenient as we will bake our fish alongside the vegetables to save time and effort. Click on the show more button below the video to find all the ingredients used in the recipe. I have also added a link to the full written recipe on my website indishwindish.com. Let's start by making a peri peri sauce for marinating the fish. I am using a sweet pepper here but you can also use red bell pepper. Cut it in half and remove the seeds. Place it skin side up on a baking sheet and broil it in the oven for 7 to 8 minutes. Use this time to roughly chop your onion and garlic. When your pepper starts to blacken a bit, take it out from the oven and fold it into the aluminium foil. Rest it for a few minutes. After 2-3 to three minutes, remove the skin which will peel off very easily. We'll add it to our blender where we have already added our chopped onion and garlic, peri peri chilies, some dried oregano, smoked paprika powder, salt, olive oil and some lime juice. The full list of ingredients could be found in the description box below. Blend it into a smooth paste. Transfer it into a saucepan, bring it to boil and cook on low heat for 5 minutes. The peri peri sauce is ready. Transfer it to a bowl and let's move on to marinating our fish. I'm using a big salmon fillet with skin here but you can use several small fillet instead. Tap dry your fish using a kitchen towel and put a few spoons of peri peri sauce over it. Rub it to coat the fish well with the sauce. Repeat on the skin side. Now keep the fish aside for a few minutes until we prepare our vegetables. Reserve the extra peri peri sauce to serve later. Before starting with the vegetable prep, we will line a baking tray with aluminium foil and put it into the oven. Set your oven to preheat at 200 degrees Celsius. Chop the broccoli in bite sized florets. You can freeze the stems to use for making vegetable stock later. Wash and thoroughly dry your potatoes before dicing them into bite-sized pieces. To get the most nutrients from the potatoes, we will keep the skin on, but make sure to buy organic ones as the non-organic ones might have residue from pesticides and fertilizers on their skins. Once the vegetables are cut, transfer them to a big bowl and add salt, pepper, some garlic powder and olive oil. Coat the vegetables well with the seasoning. Now take your tray out from the oven and put your fish in the middle. Spread your vegetables all around in an even layer. Bake in the oven for 10 minutes on 200 degrees Celsius on the middle rack. After 10 minutes, take the tray out and set your oven to broil. Move your vegetables around and put it back in the oven for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes of broiling, our fish and vegetables look done. If you are using smaller fish or several fish fillet, they will be done even earlier than this. In that case, take the fish out and let the vegetables cook a bit longer. See how perfectly moist and juicy our fish has turned out? It hasn't dried out at all. The vegetables have also cooked really beautifully. You can serve it with some extra peri peri sauce on the side for some kick. So that's all for today. I will be back with another Whole30 recipe soon. Until then, take care, stay healthy and stay safe. Bye-bye.